In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my two offices and the equipment that I use. This is really important to me because I'm a huge believer in designing your workplaces to maximize your capability. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll understand the design decisions that I've made to make me as effective as possible as a data scientist and as someone who creates YouTube videos as well. At the end, I'll explain exactly why I also have two offices instead of just having one. So this is my downstairs office. Got a lot of uh, interesting gadgets and things like that around here. Of particular note is my 100k subscriber play button. Something I'm eternally grateful to you all for. This is something I, you know, never in my wildest dreams would have imagined would be possible from just a, a silly YouTube idea I had uh, two, three years ago. As you guys know, I love dinosaurs. Um, this is Winston. Winston's the OG dinosaur. So it also doubles as a nightlight. You might have seen him featured in a few of my videos. Roar. Roar, roar. So the, the cabinetry behind me has some extra just odds and ends in there. I think I have like an old motherboard. Might as well just take a look and show you guys what's inside. Oh, uh, uh. No, nothing to see here. This facet ergonomic desk chair has been a great addition to the office as well. It is from Uplift Desk and it has really great lower back and head support. I'm using this Omen mechanical keyboard. It has some pretty cool LED lighting and this mouse. If you guys don't know, the grand prize for my leaderboard for the last year in 2020 was this Omen bundle that had all of those accessories in there video for that linked above. I get asked a lot why I have all these clocks. So I work across multiple different time zones. I live in Hawaii. My main work is on East Coast time. And then I used to live in Chicago. So I have a lot of friends there. It helps for me to just have a bunch of different clocks so I can look and see what time it is in all these different locations. Now let's head up to the second level where I have all of my content creation stuff set up and my sick Z4 workstation. So right here, I've laid out my content creation essentials. I have the a6400 camera from Sony, and I also have a GoPro for shooting some outdoor stuff. And this weird looking box right here is a teleprompter that I use when I've scripted my videos. For the Ken's Nearest Neighbors podcast, I've been using this Shure mic. The audio is super crispy and I love it. Hopefully you like it as well. And this is where I keep my Z4 workstation. As you can see, it is properly held off the ground. Um, really a beast. I access it remotely, so there's actually no screen that's connected to it. As I just mentioned, this thing has quite a lot of firepower. It has two RTX 6000s, which I'm planning to use in quite a few of my upcoming projects, and I actually use pretty heavily for my March Madness project that I just released. I'm running Ubuntu on this machine, and it came standard with the data science stack, which is something really special that HP does. They essentially curate all of the relevant data science libraries and make it come preloaded with that. Now to take you into my other office, which happens to be in my bedroom. So my bed is over there. I have some obviously sick art and my computer setup is right here. This is where I do most of my data science work on a day-to-day -day basis. I wanna take a short aside to talk about why I opted for a standing desk here. The people over at Uplift were really awesome in getting this over to me. And this has been a long time coming. I have had some pretty serious back issues from my experience playing a lot of golf in my life. As you may or may not know, I played in college and I tried to play professionally. And sitting at a desk all the time now is just, it's awful for, for my lower back. I have a lot of issues. Some days I, I was even struggling with walking. 
and uh, standing helps activate my core muscles as well as my glutes just a little bit more. Uplift has also sent me over this balance board, which I believe comes with some of the packages they have. And it helps me keep my lower body activated and has greatly, greatly reduced my lower back pain. It's allowed me to, to actually start playing more golf again, as well as actually walking when I play golf instead of riding in the cart. For my laptop, I'm using the ZBook Studio. For all the specs on that, you can see the video where I unboxed it, but this is my everyday laptop. I use this laptop for data science when I remote into my Z4 tower, and I also use it for quite a bit of content creation these days. Z by HP has committed to giving away one of these for the winner of my 2021 leaderboard contest. My monitor of choice is HP's Z38C. This has been awesome, great display, and just the right size in my opinion. In general, I'm very against working where you sleep or having your only workplace very close to your bed. That's one of the few reasons why I do have multiple offices, so I don't feel confined to my bedroom for work. On that note though, I've gotten a lot better at designing where I work and managing my time. So I don't just go take a nap or goof off. So I am I think at this stage of my life, I'm okay with having an office in my room. I know how to set those boundaries. These are some of the things that I do to maintain those boundaries between work in my room and actual rest in my room. The first thing I do is I try to only stand when I work at my desk in my room. Next, I've been using Pomodoro. So this is a really good technique that helps you sit down and focus. I highly recommend it. And I really like this little clock that I have. Unrelated, but very strange. When I work, I have to be unbelievably hot. It's just something I need, so I have a space heater right here. So why do I really have two offices? The main reason is I like to have dedicated places to do specific types of work in my life. So downstairs, I do almost exclusively content creation, video editing, whatever that might be. And upstairs, I do most of my data science work, and I have my meetings and do those types of things. For me, it's a lot easier to turn one off and then turn on the other. If I can walk into a room and know that's where I'm going to create or that's where I'm going to do data science. In the middle layer of where I live, the living room, I don't do any work there because I try to keep that exclusively for leisure. Sometimes I think compartmentalizing your life like this can make it a lot easier to switch between different tasks or to be productive and effective. I hope this helps you in some way and thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.